Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Lichy Boy Jim Graphics. So in this video guys, I have updates for you guys. And I would love you guys to stick around to the very end of this video so you understand this simple step and updates I have for you guys. So, you know, um, a client might give you an, an image, a low quality image, and you realize that you can make use of this image to design. All right, so I want to show you guys a very small trick in which you can use to enhance the image and still make use of it. It will give you a very good quality. You know, I found out this just recently on a funeral program which I'm working on. Um, the client sent different images and um, the one we were, we were supposed to make use of was very low in quality, so I had to figure out what to do. So guys, you don't have to, you know, stress yourself using Photoshop or doing anything um, serious, but you might use a bit of Photoshop in this. So if you have Photoshop, fine. If you don't have, DM me on Instagram, Jim underscore Junior One. I'm going to send you a link. For those of you who have not sent that link yet, I'm going to attend to you, all right? Over here, guys, this is the image we're going to make use of. All right, if you look closely, I got this image. It's a very low quality. Look at the pixels. You can see it is very, very low. So guys, just look at it so that you will know the difference on what we're gonna do. So that you will differentiate from what we are about to do now. All right. So look at this image. Look at the quality. If you print this image, guys, it will give you a very poor output. So, this is what you're going to do. This is what you are going to do. What you're going to do is, now, if you come over to this, um, this folder, I've exported the image, all right? So I've exported the image. So, if you don't know how to export in CorelDRAW, let me teach you, in case, you have it in your Corel Draw already. So now, this is Corel Draw. So what you're going to do now is you go to File, Export. This process is actually just to export the image. So if you come over to this, select um, where you want to export it. It can be on Document, Download, Pictures, Desktop, or you can create a folder just the way I did. All right, so right now, you can see I've exported. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, I'm going to use enhance or exported image so we can know. And I'm going to go to export. All right. So I'm going to use export. So I'm going to select um, color mode to RGB. Then once I do that, I'm going to select OK. All right. So um, now this is the website which you're going to use. To enhance this image so you're going to come over to this and go to your um, go to your browser make sure you have an internet connection you know some of you this is actually an AI um, a website or a plugin all right um, some of you are asking if AI is going to take out um, it's going to take um, graphic design job from graphic designers the truth is no Yes, AI won't take your job as a graphic designer. The only thing you need to do is use those um, plugins, um, the AI um, stuff to, you know, build up your skill as a graphic designer. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? Don't subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> so right now, you kind of, you're going to come to this and, and type an AI enhance image then click on enter on your keyboard so you see this this is the first thing you're going to see um, let's enhance image quality AI or free online blah 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 click on this and this is what you're going to see so you can see this is uh, this is the before of this image and this is the after so this is actually like a demo you're seeing on that so you're going to come over to this and see if you have money if you have money, me, yeah, I don't have money. If you have money, hmm, you can pay for this. Like pay to get, you know, their pricing. You can see we have pricing here. You have this, but I want to show you guys the free trial. You understand? That's what I've been using for a long time. 
the free trial all right so if you come over to this come over to free start free you can see this is the image i i, I enhanced so i'm going to delete this one so you will see don't tell me that i do a juro here so just come over to this box once you click on start free come over to this box and um, click on this box then you can you see this is the folder we exported you can see this is the one we exported so if you select the one we exported click on open then you will see the image over here you can select multiple images you can select multiple all right so it says over here exported um resolution um this and ready to process you can see it over here so this one is the, all the information that that's the output you're going to get and this is the input this is the one we imputed all right this is the quality of this image right now 5.5 mp i don't know what that means i think megapixels yeah megapixels <laughs> all right so now you come you're going to come over to this and say start processing all right so if you start processing you see it is processing over here all right this is not actually a cheat or anything this is a website that i found out that day i was i was going like not because i don't know i don't i don't actually know what to do i don't want to go and tell but i would advise you also to you know tell the client this image is actually not but you know to save yourself time and all those things just use this all right so right now you can see it has processed so what you're going to do is just come over to this um three dots here you see click on this three dot you see download if you want to remove watermark they will ask you to pay for it so just come to download and download your thing jj no problem do you understand so once it download is downloading as you can see it's processing downloading as you can see so right now what you're going to do is you come toward your download come to your download you can see exported so let's copy this and or let's bring it let me not copy anything let me just bring it to corridor so you can see the difference of what we had before and what we have now so look at look at look at look at look at this this image has been enhanced all right so let me bring this side by side over here so let me bring this side by side yes guys it comes with a little watermark you know how to take that off if you want to take it off you can take that off so if you want to take it off first of all let me show you the resolution this is the one we had before just look at the megapixels you can see but this is the megapixels of this one just just look at it closely look at just look at how how sharp how sharp this is look at the hair you can see if you know about this trick congratulations if you don't know yes you know it for the first time so do me a favor share this video and you know look at look at the mouth look at the mouth look at the look at the pixels guys just look at look at the finger you can see the skin you can see but if you come over to this you can see this is what we had before all right and now this is what we have now so just look at the difference all right so right now if you want to take out this um watermark you can come over to um photoshop you can copy the one you have all right bring the one you have and let's wait for it to load all right so you can basically crop out the um, watermark if you want to if you don't want to yes you can just crop it out and make use of it so i just want to show you guys how to take it out all right so right now i'm recording my voice with this so i'm going to just basically put this down so i'm making i want to make use of my two hands on my keyboard so right now you can see over here we have um you can see um this background just double click on it and click on ok and create a layer there you can zoom out can see how this 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 is actually beautiful guys this is actually cool so you can see this too um this is called clone stamp 2 so click on it and you can increase the using your open and close brackets you see then this is the one that this is the method i use actually if you have a good method to do this in in photoshop congratulations i'm not the photoshop user i just make use of what works for me to achieve the product is actually the out 
the final product is actually the main thing all right so right now i'm going to hold my alt alt key and copy the skin here and just you know clone this reduce copy clone this see reduce and copy a copy the skin tone clone no there are better ways to do this guys there are better ways to do this but i'm just showing you guys the way that works perfectly for me so i'm gonna just well just clone this all right so we're gonna just clone so you can see this is basically the way i do it so there are ways i think there are ways to do this in photoshop if i have if i have the you know if i have the updates i'm going to show you guys so for now this is how i clone it all right this is how to remove this all right so basically just make your image look all right so let's keep doing that let's keep doing that All right, guys. So, as you can see, I've removed that. So, this is actually how you can do it in Photoshop. There are better ways to do it. Like I said, there are better ways to do this. Not, but the one I do, I just want to show you guys is to enhance the image quality of your image before you design. All right. So, basically, this is it. And if you have any question, guys, please drop me a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to share this video, like, and subscribe. See you guys in my next video.